You know, one of the advantages of doing these videos is sometimes it allows us to do a little time travel. You probably have noticed in a number of videos these yellow wheels that are here in the background against my double doors that go back where I set tires. Well, those wheels have shown up in a number of different videos. Clear back here when I was just starting this sheep wagon restoration. And then also when I first brought the wheels in for this Smith manure spreader, you can also see them in the background. And even last week, as I was sanding on my front wheels of this manure spreader, you also see them in the background. Well, these wheels are Yellowstone Park coach wheels that run at Roosevelt Lodge that we initially built back in 80, 81. Well, I get wheels in periodically to repair and tighten up, and I got these two wheels in maybe a year and a half ago. It's been a while, and I just keep putting them off. You know, these are extra wheels. They have an extra set of wheels that they use for backup in case the wheel gets damaged. And oftentimes this happens because they are constantly getting new help. They don't really know how to drive these stagecoaches. And so they run into things and do damage to these wheels. Well, I need to get those wheels fixed because they put their last set of spare wheels on the coaches and these they need to have on hand ready to go so i need to fix these wheels this front wheel was the one that was in the worst shape i had to replace the spoke because the tenon was broken off into the fellow and then i had to put on one half a fellow section well this is the fellow half that i took off of that front wheel and you can see it's starting to collapse and fail right here on this joint there was evidently some rot sitting in there, and in the process of that failing, this is where it broke the tenon off of that spoke. So I got that put together, and then this rear wheel physically was okay, just that the tire had loosened up, which happens when they are being driven like this. That iron stretches and gets loose, so I just have to reset this tire. So when I did the repair on this front wheel, I was just going to do these wheels. They kind of fly under the radar and wasn't going to include you in the process. But I figured, you know, they've been in so many videos in the past that maybe I should kind of own up that I've been procrastinating on these. And I need to reset tires this morning to get these going again. So when I'm resetting tires like this that have been bolted on previously, I do take the time and weld all these holes shut because when I am in the process of setting tires, I don't have time to try to line these holes up with the original holes. And if you're a little bit off, then your holes in your fellies end up being elongated and that's not a good thing. So I weld all them shut.
Well, you can probably tell from the beginning of this video, my voice is maybe not quite normal like it normally is. Well, this week I've come down with this summertime cold, and with that, your energy goes away. So I did get these tires set, and I've got to put rivets on the other half of the new felly and put my bolts in. But it's really a good thing that I still have this sheep wagon here because it has a bed in it, and I think I'm going to go use it. You know, I said in the past that I've never had the opportunity to sleep in a sheep wagon. This sounds like a good time. Just a quick little nap. Well, there's the front wheel that had the most repairs. Everything's bolted back up, ready to go. My little nap ended up being two hours. So much for little, huh? But after I got done with this, I really don't have the energy today to do the rear wheel. I have to drill all the holes in the iron and stick the bolts in. Not a big deal, but I'm kind of tuckered. Oh, anyway, I'll do that probably maybe while you're watching this video. Anyway, appreciate you coming along. Thanks for watching.